hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. What's up everyone? This is the Tin Man with the Resistance. If you're watching this, you are the resistance. And as many of you may have noticed, Daniel, Mr. YRV, has gotten YouTube to remove my documentary on him. But you know what? That's okay. I have reposted it to another server and is available at the link in the description of this video. And I'm also considering revamping the documentary, you know, taking out the violations, which is just in one part, which I'll address momentarily. You know, it's a quick little fix, and at which point I'll re-upload the documentary, and it will be compliant with YouTube's terms of service. Now, I found out about this earlier tonight, you know, having seen the video gotten removed. And in addition to the video's removal and the standard email notification that YouTube sends out, I for some reason received an email, which I assume was meant for Daniel, which gave me some insight to his complaint, which is why I know exactly what I need to fix. His complaint was privacy info choice, home address, privacy info choice, privacy PII child privacy ad info calls me enemy of the activist community at 510 gives my full name shows my house shows private family photo taken from my Facebook gives work info all to get others to attack me and my family now that's kinda of funny because first off in the documentary, I didn't say he was the enemy of the activist community. I said the New World Order is the enemy of the activist community. As quote, the New World Order, a proposed system of control and enemy to the activist community. I didn't even mention Daniel in that segment yet. I was building up to him. So that's a load of crap right there. My next point is because though I showed his house, I did not show his home address. I referenced the city, but not the street name, the address number, or even his phone number. In fact, I had blotted those things out of the image. And as far as his work is concerned, I found it odd that I was flagged for for that being that Daniel openly advertises his home based business all over the internet and social media sites including YouTube and at which point if you make it public it's fair game if people want to address it you know that's that's open media right there. And as far as his family is concerned, and the photo, with all due respect, if you don't want them public and all over the internet for everybody to see, then don't put them online for the whole world to see. Or at the very least, set the content or social media profile to private so that it's only viewable by your friends and subscribers and not the whole world and accessible to be searched by anyone on any search engine but it's really funny and it really shows the kind of person that Dan is when he publicly challenged me to prove my points then when I do he goes crying to YouTube I mean, seriously. And I also find it funny that he could get my video removed when I'm presenting real facts and evidence to his actions, yet his video calling me a terrorist 
and suggesting to people that I'm making explosives with his whole RTB resistance tactical bomb bullshit. He, he could do that without any facts or evidence, which, by the way, is deformation of character. And it didn't get removed by YouTube. I, I honestly don't get it. That shit stays on, yet I present real facts and evidence to his actions, and my video gets pulled? Sorry, but that's some bullshit right there. But it's okay. I'm fine with that. Like I said, I'm reconsidering editing the video so that it fits YouTube's terms. And though he got the original video pulled off of YouTube, it's not off the net and is still viewable by the public. And he can't get me for any legal violations for that video because I didn't release any of his personal information, such as address and phone number, which wouldn't matter anyway, considering he has all that stuff posted all over the internet anyway. And it's not defamation of character or cyberbullying because it's all facts and evidence documenting his actions. He, and he definitely can't say that it's to get others to attack him and his family because one, his family was not the subject in the documentary. He was. Two, there is nothing in that video that suggests or promotes taking any violent action against him or his family. And lastly, this falls under journalism and freedom of the press, where people are allowed to report on any and all issues and or concerns. That's, that's freedom of the press right there. Don't like it? Google it. Run in any search action engine. You will find out all the details. And, you know, Dan can flag this video if he wants. In fact, I'm sure he will, just as he does to all of my videos in regards to him. But like all those other videos, the, it fits into YouTube's guidelines. I'm not in any violation of YouTube's guidelines, so he can go ahead and flag it. And when he does flag it, YouTube will watch this video, see and consider the valid points I've made, and as of such, may actually reinstate the documentary. But even if they don't, it's on another server. I'm probably going to edit it and make it terms friendly. And if Dan doesn't like it, all I can say, honestly, and I'm not trying to be a dick here, if he didn't want to be called out for his wrongdoings, then maybe he shouldn't be committing wrongdoings. I mean, obvious. If you don't want people to call you out for your actions, don't do things to get called out for. Seriously. But that's all I've got for now. I just wanted to address this little issue. Like I said, the links below, anybody wants to watch it. And if YouTube doesn't reinstate it, then I'll more than likely post an edited YouTube term appropriate documentary. It'll still be the same documentary, just edited out a few parts. Like taking his name out and, you know, not his full, not his first name, but his first and last name. I'll edit out his last name so it's just Daniel. And I'll take out the photos of him and his family. And I won't reference his work, even though he makes it public. But that's all I got. Till next time, if you're watching this, you are the resistance.